Lots of lovely people here. Oh, the, oh is this not to hit? Are you alive with Scotty's phone in? Who's that? That's Numpty Heat again, Scotty. What were you playing at the last time, Numpty Heat? Guys, can you let me know if we can all hear Numpty Heat? I'm sure they can, Scotty. They can hear you in Kilmarnock. I could, I could hear you in Kilmarnock. I'm telling you, um, we just worried about it. We didn't want Elise to do a runner because she's a very good That's listener. Absolutely. Now, do you remember last week, Scotty, I says I was going to prepare three or four questions for you? Oh, you did indeed. Heaven's above them to hear you, yes. Well, I'm pleased to say that I've prepared them. you have not bothered. Oh, I see you, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I've prepared them. I so thought you were going to say, I'm pleased to say I have not bothered. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you ready for your interview? Well, I suppose, I suppose I'll have to be an up to heat. No but rest. Pro professionally, Scotty. I will do. I do everything professionally. No rest for the right. wicked. Right, Numpty Heat. Three, two, one, action. Action. Ah, good, e good evening, everybody, and welcome to the show with me, Numpty Heat. My first guest this evening needs no introduction because this man's been in the papers many times, sometimes for the wrong reasons. It's Scotty McLean. Welcome, Scotty. Oh, thank you, Numpty Heat, for having me on your show. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Now then, Scotty, how long have you been broadcasting for? Oh, well, since I was nine, so I think we're talking 58 years. And how many stations have you been around? Oh, uh, 35 in total, Numpty Heat. 35 stations in how many years? Uh, 35 stations in uh, 58 years. I thought it was only about 30 years, Scotty. Well, it's, uh, it's oh, th 31 it. years if you're counting top professional stuff. Well, if you don't mind me asking, how do you manage to work in more radio stations than the amount of years you've been broadcasting? Well, Most people would have gave it up. up no, no, no. You goes. see, some I've uh, worked in for a long time and others I've had, as you would say, the shelf life of a lettuce because somebody Indeed. buys the station and then um, doesn't understand the show because they're a music person. Indeed. Now, uh, I did say earlier that you had been in the papers, and uh, oh. one one thing that comes to mind is when uh, there was a report in the paper about an old man who crashed his car, and you got the blame. I got the blame. He said, I crashed my car laughing at Scotty McClure. But fortunately, neither party was hurt, and when he explained what had happened, he said, I'm so sorry, I was listening to Scotty McClure, and the guy in front said, and so was I. And uh, would you do it again, Scotty? What, crash a car? Well, make an old man crash his oh, car. Oh, no, no. The last thing I would do, I'd rather, I'd rather go silent than have an old man crash his car because I'm on the radio. And he's been laughing. Indeed. And he can't see Indeed. through the tears of laughter. Now then, last couple of questions, Scotty. I'll, I'll be quick because I know you're a very busy man. Yes, sir. Now, I'm going back quite a long time ago in the days you worked in Leith. Now, uh, there was one time you left a poor man from Glasgow with the, the airwaves to themselves, 2.8 potential listeners, because you decided to go for chips. I don't know if you remember that. 2.8 million potential listeners. And, uh, and we decided left. I went for chips and just left him on the phone because he was boring me. Well, the thing is, Scotty, you were away for quite a long time. I think I was away for 15 me. minutes. I think they had to put some songs on. Now, one thing that everybody's dying to know, Scotty, is did you, did you take the dog with you? Yes, the dog was always with me. You could see him just behind me. That's Lord Reith, the Labrador. And he was indeed, what you'd indeed. call, you know, you get hearing dogs and you get helping dogs and you get guide dogs. Well, he was Indeed. a radio dog. Indeed, he was. Well, there you are, Scotty. But listen, my final question uh, this evening is uh, you had a lock in once when you finished uh, your stint on Q96. Yes. And uh, I remember it because I was there, but the nation wants to know, did you really have a lock in? Yes, we did. Um, the uh, programme controller objected to me playing Scottish music 
and said we must stick to the playlist. So what we did was, instead of going home at midnight, we locked the studio door and played the songs I liked. And was the, the next presenter banging on the door? Yes. Well, the soundproofing must have been good because we couldn't hear it. We couldn't hear it. No, where well, you wouldn't do because, you see, it's a double lock door, so there's two doors. You would have to go through two doors. You'd have to go into what we call the lock, like an airlock in a submarine, you see. Indeed. Well, Scotty McClay, thank you very much for coming on the show. And uh, I just say, everybody, uh, we'll be back next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, I'll hand you over to Scotty McClay. Numpty Head, it's been a privilege being on your show, and I will continue to listen in to your calls. Indeed you will, Scotty. Right, listen, I'm up with the Doug, believe it or not. Oh, you so, are not. Uh, are you doing a live interview up with the Doug? In Holyrood Park, outside the palace. Do you know the, do you know the dog in Holyrood Park, dinky do? <laughs> right, see you after, Scotty. See you, Lala. <laughs> <laughs> what is he like? Now, it's good that Numpty he'd phoned. I didn't know he was going to ask all that, by the way. Uh, but uh, Alice is giving the symbol of clapping hands. So she's staying with us. Alice, interesting name, A-L-Y-S. Alice. Um, I'm not sure if she's French, uh, but Alice uh, uh, said this morning that uh, she would not watch the show if Numpty Heed didn't phone in tonight because she loves the quality. 